Hi everyone, I'm Kelly Mack. Welcome to Life Moments. When phobia takes over your life, it can be devastating. Today, one mother and her daughter are taking some unconventional steps to fight their phobia, a fear of flying. I usually say I'm afraid of flying, but I think terror is more descriptive. It's very hard to explain it. I don't know if it's a heart-stopping feeling or a heart-pounding feeling, but it's a definite feeling of loss of control, loss of ability to think rationally and logically. My name is Jan, and I'm 61 years old. I'm a mother of three grown children, a homemaker. I was at one time a high school English teacher. I've taken a fear of flying class and they try to make it seem as though it's the same as driving on a highway, on a road. One can feel a bump and a dip and that it's the exact same thing. And to me it's not at all because in driving the road is under me. I know there's something there. I just feel very, very frightened. I know that I'm 30,000 feet in the air with nothing under me. And I, every bump and every jar and every movement just makes me think something's going to happen. Everything is interconnected in my fear of flying. It keeps me from going for special occasions to see special people. And it just makes me feel like an, uh, a person who is not a whole person. Sadly, Jan is not the only member of her family haunted by a fear of flying. Her daughter, Elisa, suffers from the same phobia. I'm 27. I have a bachelor's degree in psychology and I uh, manage a dental office. I've been doing that for four years. What scares me about flying is being shut inside the plane. It's, it's almost like a claustrophobic thing. When I panic, what happens is my heart races. I, I get like this rush of heat from my feet upwards. Um, you just feel like you're gonna die. You just feel like this like impending doom. I don't just get panic attacks in airplanes. I get them driving to work. I get them any time I'm traveling. There was actually a three month period where I was totally agoraphobic and couldn't leave the house. This anxiety is totally, it's, it's destroyed my life in a lot of ways. I mean, there's so many things I want to do and it's just limited me so much and it's affected my family because um, they constantly have to be there for me and I can't go, go a lot of places, I can't go anywhere, you know, without them there. Um, so it's really affected me in a really um, negative way. I don't know if Elisa got the fear of flying from me. I have two other children and they don't seem to have it. One went skydiving on her 18th birthday. My son went parasailing. But Elisa and I have an especially close bond and maybe she gets the, va the vibes from me. I've tried all sorts of treatments in the past. I've tried acupuncture, herbs, prescription medication. I've seen therapists. I've tried I think just about everything out there and everything seems to help a little bit but nothing gets rid of it. Three weeks more until our trip. How are you doing? Although this uncontrollable fear has caused them to miss countless family events, there is a reunion in Washington State that both Jan and Elisa are eager to attend. Everyone's getting older and it was kind of a combination nostalgia, celebratory family reunion trip. It's about a two-hour flight, but I want to do it because um, I don't, I, I really don't want this to destroy my life. Desperate to rid themselves of their phobias once and for all, Jen and Elisa have been undergoing some unconventional therapy, and today is their last session. Hi. Hi. Hi, nice to see you again, nice Elisa. You. Hi, Jan. How are you? My name's Tom Silver. I'm a clinical hypnotherapist. Hypnotherapy is a way of reprogramming somebody's subconscious mind 
Okay, so you're looking forward to helping me to help you to remove those fears today? Yes. Great. Well, here, come on back. So through hypnotism, we're able to release that negative emotion from their subconscious and replace it with a positive emotion, a positive feeling, to empower them to create a really wonderful change in their life. This hypnotist session is my last resort. I've really tried everything. I'm praying that this is going to, um, you know, make it end. Just thoughts. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to begin now, Elisa. What okay. I'd like you to do is just to simply relax your hands. Mm -hmm and to just allow your eyelids just to become very heavy, to close your eyes. Now with your eyes... Physically, what I'm going to be doing is relaxing them physically, so you'll see them almost appearing to be asleep, even though they're not really asleep. On the count of three, I want you to lift your left hand up in front of your face with the palm of your hand facing your face. So once I have them in this receptive state, I'm going to actually have them bring up the fear and have them imagine themselves experiencing that fear. 50% of it, when I pull on the hand, is going to leave your mind and body because it's a false emotion and imagination you're letting go of. Hand dropping down, sleep. Deeper asleep now. Completely and totally relaxed. And then I'm going to hopefully replace it with a new positive emotion and a positive feeling that maybe even flying in an airplane's just as safe as relaxing on a beautiful beach. Now five eyes open, wide awake, and a great big smile feeling really, really Excellent. How do you feel? I feel like I just took a nap. <laughs> Excellent. Really yeah. calm and peaceful. I think it went well. Um, Dr. Silver says I'm, <laughs> I'm cured and I can fly. I, I don't know until I get on a plane, but um, I feel like it went well. I feel positive about it and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> You to close your eyes now it's Jan's sleep. turn for the hypnosis. Your eyes, your eyes to become heavy, droopy, drowsy, sleeping, closing, 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 head dropping down, sleep going down. Five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Deeper sleep. If I get on this plane and my phobia is gone, I will feel like a free, normal, emotionally healthy person. Wide awake and a great big smile, feeling really good, feeling really peaceful. I'm really looking forward to a wonderful journey next week. God, how do you feel? Very nice. Nice. <laughs> Very relaxed. Excellent. When we return, Jan and Alisa come face to face with their fears. I'm feeling pretty terrified. 